Hello everyone. It's Sunday. Typically I wouldn't even be working today, um, as I hope none of you are. Uh, however, I was doing a project around the house today, and uh, it was kind of an interesting outcome that made me think about something that I've been getting some emails about uh, from some of the students that were taking the intro class this year. Uh, I'm sorry, this semester. Um, they always, you know, said, well, I, I don't understand why is, you know, why is this stuff important? Why is this stuff important? Well, uh, for those of you that haven't taken the class, the stuff I'm talking about is putting together a plan, uh, an investment plan for yourself and tying that to your life plan so that uh, you're constantly making investment choices and giving yourself investment ideas as you live your everyday life. Now, today I, uh, we have this fountain in our house and it's a, it's a really nice fountain. It's really pretty and um, it hasn't been in use for about a year because of my own fault. I really don't know how to take care of a fountain. So uh, it had some major calcium and scale buildup over the past year. And it's been on my to-do list from 2009 that I just never got done is to take this thing and, uh, and clean it and get it functioning again. <clears throat> so today I decided to undertake this really massive task that I didn't understand uh, was going to be so massive. And I got into it and I had this idea of what I wanted in my head. I wanted to clean this thing. That was my goal. I wanted to clean it and get it working again because I love having this fountain on. Um, that really wasn't a specific goal, and it really wasn't very well thought out because like everything in life, and it's amazing to me that I don't remember this kind of stuff and that I think about it when I'm investing, but I don't think about it in my everyday life, almost opposite um, as what it should be. Uh, but here I am trying to move and clean this, this fountain that must weigh at least seven or 800 pounds, and I find out it comes off into pieces. Each piece is like 300 pounds and at least at least 300 if not more and um, one thing led to another led to another led to another I get to cleaning this thing I get to starting and I don't have the right tools so I assemble the right tools and I then I realize I don't have the right cleaning stuff for it so I go and get the right cleaning stuff for it and I come back and I start cleaning it and I realize I still don't have the right tools so I have to go back and I have to get more tools so by the time I actually started cleaning this thing I was already you know at the time that I figured I'd be finished so I start cleaning this thing, and all of a sudden it, make, it dawns on me, I can't clean this thing properly inside of the house because of where it was situated. So now i got to move this thing. So I move this thing, and I start moving it, and I get it all the way down. Uh, down. I had to roll it. I thought I was going to throw out my back. Get it out all the way to the door because I'm going to take it outside and clean it. It doesn't fit through the door. I have to take the door off. So we got to take the door off the hinge. Another hour and a half to take this what was a ridiculously heavy door, I never even realized the, the, the particular door would even remotely weigh like this, I had to take this door off. Well, I couldn't get it. My wife wouldn't, wouldn't be able to help me. It was too, too heavy. So I had to go next door and get a neighbor, and the neighbor had to help me. And we put the door back up, and by the time the door got hung, it was an hour and 15 minutes later just for the door, just to get this giant door off. And then I finally get the thing outside, and uh, we you know get get all the door back on, and and so on and so forth, and, and by that time, three and a half, four hours had passed, and uh, I kind of lost my flavor for, for cleaning this damn thing, although I did get a little bit of a start on it. So I got another postponement, and I got to put this project off till next weekend. What I learned from it was that without research and without a plan, there are always going to be things that are going to pop up and are going to stand in your way and block you from reaching your ultimate goal. Today I didn't reach my goal. I didn't even come close. I'm not even halfway done with this goal. And the reason is, is that I had this little idea in my head for a year, yet I never researched it. I never found out, uh, you know, exactly what I need to use to clean it, exactly what I need to use for tools, exactly what I needed to do and what it was going to take and did I measure it and could it even fit through the door. I mean, it didn't even dawn on me that it wouldn't fit through the door. I, same thing happens in life. Same thing happens in investments. There's always something that doesn't that pops up that you didn't account for. But as an investor, you have to try to account for as much as you possibly can. And that's why it's so important to have a plan and to have several plans in place and to continue to redo your plan every time you achieve a new goal and to fix it and remand it and update it and continually work that way, not only in, in your life and in your career, uh, but in your investing and in your trading. Make sure that you have a, a well thoroughly researched and a well thought out plan for what you want to do with each investment. And then uh, you'll be more prepared to encounter the little bumps in the road, like the fact that I had to take this door off the hinge and the fact that I didn't know that the door weighed so much and so on and so forth. 
you'd be more prepared for that and easier to weather those storms and it won't stop you from getting to your goal as quickly as you'd like to. Um, anyhow, I thought you guys might find it interesting. Uh, I did. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I'm getting ready. Uh, very excited to be training this week. I hope all of you are too. So uh, I will let it go with a short one. The TMP group and the TMP project, thank you very much for being a member. See your future. Be your future. Make your future with the TMPproject.com.